In this video, we'll see what happens when we group n identical cells in parallel. So, as you can see, each cell has an internal resistance R and EMF eta. So, if you connect them in parallel, it's like connecting n internal resistances in parallel. So, first we'll find out what is the effective resistance of this n internal resistances which are in parallel. So, we'll use the expression for finding effective resistance in parallel connection, which is 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 and so on. So, we get 1 by R plus 1 by R to n terms. So, that would be n times 1 by R. So, you get n by R. So, take reciprocal on both sides and you will get the effective internal resistance of all the com all these cells is R by n, small r by n. So, next step is to find the total resistance of this circuit. So, you have one external resistance capital R and this effective internal resistance small r by n. So, the total effective resistance would be they are in series, so R plus small r by n. So, just cross multiply you get n times capital R plus small r by n. So, this is the effective resistance of this circuit. So, now since all the cells are in parallel, they are all connected between same two points, between these two points and they have same EMF, same internal resistance. So, the potential difference between these two points is eta itself, the same thing. So, if you apply Ohm's law now to find the total current in this circuit, which is passing through this external resistance R, capital R, you will get I is equal to <coughs> total EMF by total resistance. So, it is eta by total resistance which is nR plus small r by n. So, when you write it in the denominator, this by n will go up to the numerator. So, this is the final result you get. So, now we will explore what are the two cases, what happens in each of the two cases. So, the first case is when internal resistance is negligible compared to the external resistance. So, in that case small r is much less than capital R. So, in the denominator you can neglect small r. So, you get n times eta by n times capital R. So, n will cancel out and you get eta by capital R. And if you consider that the internal resistance is negligible in all the cases, then if you had just one cell connected in this circuit, then also the current would have been eta by capital R only. So, even though you connected n cells in parallel, the current through the external resistor is the same as what it would have been if you had connected only one cell. Thus, if internal resistance is negligible, it is a waste to connect the cells in parallel. If you had connected them in series, you would have got n times the current which you had got with one cell. But now when you connect them in parallel, you get the same current as what you will get with one cell. So, let us see what happens if the internal resistance is much greater than the external resistance. So, that would be case 2. So, in that case, you, uh, you will be neglecting n times capital R because that is small compared to the internal resistance R. So, your expression would become n times eta by small r. So, now if you had only one cell with a huge internal resistance small r compared to the external resistance capital R, then you could have neglected capital R and the current due to that one cell would have been EMF by the internal resistance small r. So, this EMF eta by internal resistance small r represents the current due to one cell. And here when you have n cells, n such cells in parallel, the total current becomes n times of eta by r which means n times the current due to a single cell. Thus, whenever the internal resistance is much greater than the external resistance, it makes sense to connect parallel so that you know that whenever resistances are connected in parallel, the effective resistance is less than the least resistance which is connected in parallel. So, here the effective resistance becomes reduced n times when you connect n cells in parallel. So, the current also increases n times for the same EMF. Right? So, to summarize, so we can summarize by saying that 
if the internal resistance is much greater than external resistance you can com by, by combining the cells in parallel effective resistance becomes reduced to less than the internal resistance of each cell thus the current becomes n times the current due to a single cell